Welcome to another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider. In today's video, we'll take a look at the installation process for SolarWorks 2017 and some things to note for. First, what you would want to do is go into your SolarWorks 2016, go on the tools, save, restore settings, Save the settings for your current uh, SolarWorks 2016, which will grab all the system options, toolbar, layout, most importantly, your mouse gesture and keyboard shortcuts. Once you have done that, click finish and this will save uh, a registry file on your desired location, which then can be loaded back onto 2017 later on. What you would want to do is uh, deactivate your license and once you have done that SolarWorks 2016 will exit and you can proceed with uh, the 2017 install. Also another really important thing to note is that you must ensure that Windows Update is not occurring in the background while you're doing the installation for SolarWorks 2017. Also that you must have full administrative rights so let's take a look at the process. To install SolarWorks 2017, simply browse to your installation folder. Within the media disk, just open as or open in file explorer and scroll down to the setup.exe. Right click onto it and click run as administrator. This is an important step as we'll be writing registries files where say user, user accounts might have restriction that doesn't allow us to write those registries for SolarWorks. The SolarWorks installation manager will be initiated. On the left hand side of the installation manager, we can see several tabs that guides us through the install process. In the Welcome tab, we can see the type of installation that we can do, individual administrative image, server products, and download and share all files. Now, the media that you received from us are Service Pack 0 2017. You have two methods in installing 2017 Service Pack 1. You can proceed with the individual install which use part of the Service Pack 0 files and download the necessary files from the SolarWorks website for you to obtain Service Pack 1. Or you can select download and share all files which is uh, highlighted in the yellow box. This will download all the necessary files for SolarWorks 2017 and SP1 which means that uh, you will have a soft copy of the installation files and you can place your media elsewhere after this installation. For this video, we'll just go through the individual install which will require us to download some files from the SolarWorks website. After clicking next and going onto the serial number tab, just input your serial numbers. From previous version of SolarWorks, these information should be retained in the registries. But if they're not, that's okay. Just type in your new serial number or email us and let us know uh, and we can send you your serial number. SolarWorks will then do a system check. For my computer, it has recognized that it's got 2016 installed. Hence, it asks me whether I would like to create a new individual install for SolarWorks 2017 or would I like to upgrade my 2016 to 2017. Our advice to customers is always that we should always play around in 2017 first, have a look at and ensuring everything works fine as it should with uh, your particular files just because everyone work in a different environment and the method of drawings are slightly different. It's good for us to test this info, test out 2017 first before we uh, move everything from 16 to 17 as once you save a file in 2017, 
you will not be able to open that back up in 2016. It should install 2017 in parallel to 2016 and try out the files um, in 2017 and he see how they behave. Once everything is okay, you can sh switch everything from 16 to 17. In the summary page, you can see the products that you're entitled to install. You can make changes to that on the top right corner that says change. Let's take a look at installation location. I've changed the location on my uh, computer so that I have a separate folder named SolarWorks 2017 SP1 um, so that this will ensure my files for 17 will not interfere with my files in 2016 and it gives a better naming convention so later on if I were to update say again to 2018 I will know which folders uh, to delete. Under toolbox and whole wizard option you can see that it says previous toolbox detected select installation method that is because I've got 2016 toolbox installed so now let's go on and take a look at the options that we have available. So again, I've applied the same naming convention to my toolbox as well. So instead of creating a folder named SolarWorks Data, I've named it as SolarWorks Data 2017. This will help me recognize which toolbox belongs to which versions later on. Now on our summary tab, we can see we have a toolbox installation location. Take a look at the estimate installation size. For my installation, because I've downloaded a full package, so it will say uh, a rather large number of installation size. For uh, you, if you were to install from this service pack zero media, you might have uh, two sections which says uh, installation size as well as download size. So let's proceed to install now or download and install now. Installation will then begin uh, and the whole process could take up to 40 minutes depending on the computer power. This is what we'll see once the installation is complete. Let's go on and start up SolarWorks. Go on and activate your SolarWorks product now. Select the products and put in your email address and go on and click next. It will then show you your entitlement dates, your subscription expiry dates. And there you have it, Solo Act 2017. Hope this video was useful. By all means, if you have any issues with insulation, please do give us a call or send Andrew and I an email. I will be more than happy to help you out. Thanks again for watching another video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider.